Let's write the empirical formula for butane. We'll also write the molecular formula and the structural formula for butane. Let's start with the molecular formula. This shows the number and type of each atom in the butane molecule. So the molecular formula for butane, that's C4H10. Four carbon atoms, 10 hydrogen atoms. This is nice because it tells us how many carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms we have, but it doesn't tell us how they're bonded together. For that, we need the structural formula. That looks like this. In the structural formula here, we can see that we have one, two, three, four carbons, and then you count the hydrogens, we'll have 10 of those. And it shows us how they're bonded together. In this case, for butane, it's an alkane, so it's all single bonds. We could superimpose the structural formula over it like this as well. This is another way you'll see it written. And you can see that we have a carbon here, 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 and here. And because this is an alkane, ends in A-N-E here, we know the carbons are single bonded and each carbon will have single bonds to hydrogen atoms as well. So each carbon has four bonds. That's the structural formula. The empirical formula for butane, that's the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms. So we can see we have a four to 10 ratio, but we could reduce that. We could divide each number by two. That would give us two to five. And the empirical formula for butane, that's C2H5. We can't reduce this any further and still have whole numbers. This is Dr. B with the empirical formula, molecular formula, and the structural formula for butane. Thanks for watching.